Left the city, came out to the country, feeling like a different person than before. Right now I'm sitting in an orange tree, and I don't think it actually is a real orange tree, but I'm not sure. Something about orange. All this is so weird to me and, you know, yet so familiar. But I wanted to get away and made the call and got away. There's lots of cows out here. There's a big, huge cow field over there and back behind me and it goes all around. I've happened to find this little piece of woods, so thought I would come in here and talk a bit. I don't even know if the sound's gonna reach out good. I don't know anything, you know? And it feels good not to know anything. It feels really good just to be... Fuck it. Fuck it. Somehow, some way, I'm making more money on unemployment than I did when I was employed. And that is scary. That is so scary. Most people accept that and think it's a good thing. And most people are pretty dumb. We do need to go back to work. We do need to go back to work. But I don't want to. I want to do this. I want to stay out here on the farm. Make little videos and... Get money from the government. But I also don't want to do that. Because I know I shouldn't do that. So, at the end I'm going to champion not doing that. I'm going to advocate for everybody going to work and making the money that they can make. Not getting what money they can get for free. I'm going to show you some of the farm now. Take a little walk with me. That's that little dog down there. She's the dog on the farm. She runs around and she kills rabbits. She killed a possum. Yeah, but either way, she's really, really cute and nice if you're bigger than her. I guess that's just the way all life is. So here's a beautiful field, man. I sat in this field. It was just a chair out there randomly. I decided to utilize it. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did. I mean, I really couldn't stop just looking all around and just checking out everything. Because, honestly, I don't see this. You know, you go out to the freaking uh, country from the city and it's almost like shell shock in a way. You, um... You expect people to be around. You expect to have to kind of watch out. You know, but with scenes like this, long fences and long open ranges, you can kind of just really let go. This is where the cows get their water. I used to, well, when I was there, I was thinking like, man, what if it's frozen outside? They got to dip their nose down in that cold water. Speaking of cows... There's a whole bunch of them. Um, there's more cows out there, but the pasture is so huge, only small groups kind of wander off. And uh, the 
the bigger cows they're real standoffish but the baby cows they kind of like real curious um we had to build that corral to keep them from licking the paint off of the cars their tongues are like sandpaper and they literally can lick the paint right off the car um yeah but uh something about their their way it's it's majestic but it's also filthy <laughs> and they ruin the ground if you want to go out there and run speaking of things in the ground those little holes there i had to look out for those all over the place snake holes and stuff but that was a nice little seat to sit down and i had to uh take advantage of that get up close to these cows there's no way i'm just gonna stay back behind a fence so of course you know me i was wandering way out into them trying to see if i could find a nice one you know kind of creeping up on them see all those babies laying around the babies are skittish too but they're also real curious oh god here i go climbing out on trees trying to get up over top of them and get a good view i really just wanted to be in the tree <laughs> didn't even want to get down out of the tree honestly but uh yeah see those babies got my eye on them I'm about to go over there and see if they're as skittish as those guys look at that big old bull that's actually the mama and she was yelling for the babies eventually i uh i don't think the sound was very good being i was using my phone and stuff the wind was cutting through but yeah here's some juveniles uh they got interested in me eventually they started getting up and coming and looking <laughs> you see them they came creeping around the tree to see what i was doing once i walked in into their midst that one uh lighter brown one was very interested in what was going on the one with the white face he was real interested too he came from all the way across the pasture just to see what was going on on this side but it wouldn't get very close to me but uh this one right here came up real close kept inching forward trying to get up in my i think it was really interested in the phone because i was aiming the phone at him and it has a big shiny spot on it you know, they were probably way more interested in the phone than you are interested in this video but <laughs> i'm putting it out anyway because hell it's my life and when you get away and when you go out and do something interesting you kind of want to get some kind of proof of it here's that baby getting right up in my face she came over really close at one point and it's kind of sad to think about these dang animals because you know they're all living beings they have their own thoughts they're playful very inquisitive but those tags on their ears it almost takes away like it almost takes away all the beauty that's out here in a way just knowing they're gonna be taken away at some point slaughtered and used for food which is probably exactly the reason that they don't like getting up close to us and don't trust us very much but Yeah, I'm just that type of guy who always want. There's some uh, cow poop, by the way, which I was out there in the mornings running around the fields looking for some mushrooms, but I couldn't find any out there. Maybe the weather wasn't right. Maybe the food they're eating isn't the kind of food that produces that stuff, but anyway. Yeah, about this time, the parents were calling for their cows to come back, for their calves to come back. And 
eventually they started mooing so much that I left because I didn't want to piss them off too bad and it would have been a little bit of a run to give back so there's a little a little pathway I decided to cut through those trees it wasn't a real path but this is what I found this big rolling meadow deep in the woods surrounded by woods and completely hidden man like perfect place to build a house perfect place to build a house and this land that I'm on right now is for sale and it's crazy it's got a huge lake on it all these woods and rolling hills that just how could a person even own that you know this doesn't really make sense because I mean it's a place to be enjoyed that's for sure but the people who do own these spots of land out here, they don't like anybody on their land. And I imagine if that was mine, this place right here, I wouldn't want anybody on it either. But yeah, I cut from here. I went out to this uh, this little lake. Uh, there is something in that lake splashed really big and... If I found out that I had three days to live, I would dive in that lake and try to find out what it was. Because if it was a fish, it was an award-winning fish, man. I also met a guy out here from uh, from the Hawaiian Islands of Saipan. And he was doing some fishing out here. Illegally. But I wasn't supposed to be there either, you know. I was out there hitting a J and just kind of enjoying myself. Those are actually hawks flying around in the sky. You might not be able to see them, but. Well, this is the end of my trip. Stopped at this little barn on the way out. Decided to go ahead and get a little bit of footage. You know, I don't know why. You guys might be interested. It's a Civil War era barn, although inside they didn't keep it very period. It's got a lot of, you know, junk in there, and I guess they could have cleaned it up a little better. But something I saw on the way up there, decided I'd stop in and take a look at it. Really didn't turn out to be that interesting at all, to be quite honest. It is what it is. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching my little venture out of the city, out into the country. Some of you guys probably live out in the country, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy yourselves, enjoy your day. Hope you enjoyed watching this show, and I'll catch you all next time. Animal out.